Why did President Clinton never play hide and seek with his interns? Because good luck hiding when everybody already knows you're coming. Now, let's dive into the intriguing world of Bill Clinton's alleged affairs. Fact number one, Monica Lewinsky, a White House intern, became the most well-known figure linked to Clinton. Their relationship lasted from 1995 to 1997. It's said that Clinton has a thing for power suits, but who knew it extended to interns too? Fact number two, Jennifer Flowers, a model and actress, claimed to have had a 12-year relationship with Clinton during his time as governor of Arkansas. 12 years? That's longer than most Hollywood marriages. Fact number three, Paula Jones, a former Arkansas state employee, brought a sexual harassment lawsuit against Clinton in 1994. The case was settled out of court with no admission of guilt. It seems Clinton has always had a knack for avoiding sticky situations. Fact number four, Kathleen Willey, a former White House aide, alleged that Clinton had made unwanted advances towards her in 1993. Willey claimed Clinton had a hands-on approach to leadership, but perhaps not in the way she had hoped. Fact number five, Juanita Broderick, a former nursing home administrator, made allegations of rape against Clinton dating back to 1978. While these are serious allegations, they were never legally proven. It seems Clinton's charm isn't as universal as his popularity polls suggested. Fact number six, Elizabeth Ward Grayson, a former Miss America, admitted to a one-night stand with Clinton in 1982. It seems Clinton had a penchant for beauty queens, but maybe he should have stuck to judging pageants instead. To summarize, Clinton's presidency was marked not only by political achievements, but also by a series of allegations involving women, from interns to actresses, from state employees to aides, it seems few were immune to his reported advances. While these claims vary in their severity, they all paint a picture of a man who, let's face it, probably wouldn't win Employee of the Month in today's Hash Me Too era. But hey, at least he never had to worry about being lonely in the Oval Office.